Hi guys, some of you have been complaining about that your Filmora is getting slower. If you add videos to it, it's crashing. It crashes in the middle of the video processing. If you have a video of a person talking, the the sound and the video are not syncing. A lot of problems. And I was facing exactly the same problem. Until I found this particular feature within Filmora and it was not checked. And I would highly recommend you also do that. Number one, you go to the file menu and you click on preferences. When the preferences brings up, usually it opens up in general. Make sure you click performance. In the performance, make sure the first two checkboxes are checked. Enable hardware acceleration for video rendering and playback and enable hardware acceleration for video decoding. And down below here, I have this box checked that automatically delete render files when a project file is close. It's not keeping all those files in the background and automatically create proxies when media resolution is higher than this. So proxies are smaller files that are used by Filmora only for the sake of presenting it on the screen. So I've had this and playback using latest rendering engine for better performance. So make sure you have these options checked. You could also make sure that your drivers are up to date. For that, it's very simple, not that big of a deal. You basically need to go into uh, your device manager. So you can just click in the search bar and type here in the search bar device manager. And once the device manager comes up, you need to make sure that things are up to date. So your display adapter, for example, you can you can um, click on it and you can right click to make sure that you update your driver to the latest driver by simply clicking on the first option. Similarly, you can do exactly the same thing with any and all of them. Uh, whatever is recommended, you can just right click on it uh, and make sure like for your firmware, for example, you right click and update driver and choose the first option. It will tell you if the latest version is installed. So do these little things and it fixed Filmora for me. And also there is one more thing that you can check to see if there's a latest version of Filmora available with bug fixes. For example, uh, if you click the help menu, down below you'll find check for update. So click that and it will tell you if your Filmora is up to date or not. For example, over here, um, I have one more version to upgrade to and I, I purposely didn't do that because I wanted to show you in this video how do you go about doing it. So you simply click on free upgrade and it will do the upgrades for you um, and, and uh, you just let it uh, download the file, you close the Filmora and that's another way to make sure that if there are any bugs that you may have in your Filmora get fixed. Catch you guys in the next tutorial. Till then guys, take care. Bye-bye.